Okay. Pull the gate until you get the gearbox lock. Right. Enter programming. You press and hold the square button. Now we are in programming. You press once to the right. We want to set the limits. Okay. okay. You say yes, enter. Now the machine is asking me which direction does the gate have to close first. Always close first. If this machine was on the right hand side, it will be closing that way. So now we can press the arrow for the direction and it will run until it sees the magnet. It will then start to reopen by itself. And more or less where we want the open position to be. We can just press the square to stop it again. We are then able to go and find adjust with our uh, arrow keys until we are happy. Remember, with a Centurion motor, the gate motor wants to stop hard against the end stop. Ours don't. Mm. If in programming this hits the end stop, it's going to give you an error and you're going to have to restart. So you'll always stop the gate before it touches the end stop on your, on your gate travel. If you want to adjust, there has to be some space for you to calculate. Right, so again, when we're setting up this gate, we will always close the gate until it's touching. Make sure that magnet is in the middle of the sensor. If you do that, you cannot do anything wrong. Then it's going to work 100%. Okay, move the gate to the center of the travel. Engage it. Just pull it until it locks. Alright. Um, okay, just exit and show you again. Go into program by holding it in. Press to the right. We want to press. We want to do the limit setup. Yes. Enter. Then we say it's closing to the right. It will run until it sees the magnet. It will start to reopen. More or less, we want the open position to be. We will stop it again. Just stop it. If you want to stop, uh, you must stop it. Yeah, stop it. Yeah. On our old version machine, we had a magnet here, yeah. and it stopped automatically. This one you have to stop by pressing the square button. Okay. If you're happy with the position, all right, you can just press the square button again, and it will close. Now it's going to run one full cycle by itself. After you've done uh, yeah, programming, you start detecting that that magnet is moving away from the, the machine. Okay, when it stops in the close position, your programming is finished. Okay. So, so how to program the remote? Okay. Right. So now we've done the limits. Now we scroll to receiver setup. Receiver setup. We press enter. Yes, we want to quick learn. You can also choose to go into uh, advanced learn. Let's say this is in a complex and you are managing the remotes. Mr. Smith is remote number 10. Mr. Smith is, uh, Mr. Smith is number 11 and you want to just replace one for Mr. Smith. You can go and scroll to location 10 to just put the remote in there. Just add it there. Yeah, but for, a, but for a normal house, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just do a quick learn. Okay, we'll press a quick learn. Enter. Now it's asking me which channel do we want to use. So BT is the full channel for full opening button trigger. Remember, the way to program remotes is always press the remote button first. Because when you do that, it means that this receiver can't program in someone else's remote by accident. You press the remote button first, then you go quick learn. There we go. So it's complete. Now we can exit the programming menu. And you can just test if our remote is working. And if you want to like uh, the half open and a little bit when you press the remote. That you will set up as a, as a pedestrian. This gate unfortunately is too short for me to, yeah. to, to show you. But where you're doing, and I'll, I'll scroll back to that menu. Alright, so the first, uh, uh, the first one that we did was the, was the limit setup, right? If you disturb... We did the limit setup. The next one we will program is this one. BT mode. Uh, pedestrian oh, mode. Okay. okay, PED is for pedestrian. So the setup will work exactly the same as for the full opening. The only thing is that you're going to stop the gate very short instead of letting it run all the way uh, to the open position. But the setup is exactly the same. Okay, and then you need to remember to program another button into the receiver into the pedestrian channel. Okay, so again, we'll scroll back to the receiver setup. Alright, quick learn, yes. Then, 
yeah, it's asking me, what do I want to do? Full opening? No. Pedestrian, yes. Oh, okay. Then I will program a button into the pedestrian mm, channel. That's good. Okay. 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 So, 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 how to install those uh, device which, uh, when someone is getting, it stops the the gate, the beams. <laughs> yeah, like uh, even no, safety so, beams. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you put you put in the floor or, or where? Yeah. You just put on on, on the wall. So so I go on the wall, then it must be high enough that it will, uh, when a car drives through, yeah. that it will, the car will break the beam. So you must remember there is an invisible beam running here, an infrared beam. Okay. All right, you'll see now. Let me show you. Okay, I see there's already an auto close. 14 seconds, let the auto close count to count down. All right, so if there was a, a person walking or a car, the beam will, will, will reverse the gate. So, yeah. And how many meters does beams? Depends on the beam. No, it's not a standard type of beam. Ours will do about 15 meters. 15 meters. Yeah. But you get some that can go even further. It just depends on what the customer meter, I think, you know, because the gate maximum maybe 6 meters, you know. Also, just something to remember when installing beams, sometimes if the, if the sun in the morning and the afternoon is shining directly into the receiver, sometimes it can interfere with that uh, infrared beam. Oh. Then we just need to, to put some kind of a, like, a, cover, like a little roof or a cover just to protect the, the, the beam from the sun shining in there. We normally see it in the morning and in the afternoon at a specific time when the, the sun is shining. But not, not all installations are the same. Okay, so, uh, so what about those one which we use the phone to on and uh, switch it off? All right, Th that is a separate device. The programming for that device is separate. The only thing you will need to do is to wire it correctly onto the machine. Yeah. So the same place you would wire an external receiver is where you would wire a GSM system as well. So you would get your power from your positive and your negative, your, your, your common. So that's positive and that's negative to give the unit power. And then you will take your common to G and D on the board mm -hmm. and you will take your normally open to BT to button trigger some four, four wires okay. and the beams have to activate to the beams yeah like uh, auto close how many minutes the 15 seconds so you can you can activate the beams on their own it doesn't have to be connected to the auto close if you just want it for safety but our control card is designed in such a way that if you activate or to close, it will automatically activate the, the safety beam as well. Oh, okay. So all you need to go and do is just to set the time in the auto close menu. So here we can go back to mode. There is the beam. As long as the auto close is enabled, you won't be able to disable that beam. All right, there we go back to mode. This is on auto close. If you want to take auto close off, we can just do it back to standard, standard yeah. or we can choose auto close, enter, and it's going to ask me how many seconds do I want. I can take it up further if I want to. Okay, but I don't think you'll ever want auto close to be yeah, so many yeah, seconds. Yeah. So normally it's about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay. All right, and then there's also other functions that you can activate. Uh, this, uh, back to mode. Condo mode, this is used in complexes. So when you have a complex with a single gate, sometimes it can happen that someone is trying to enter and someone is trying to exit. Now you've got them both pressing the remote and now the gate is doing that, not opening and closing. So with condo mode active, the gate will only, res will only accept a new uh, uh, command once the gate is closed all the way again. So even, so if I open the gate from this side, it will start to open. If the guy from the other side comes and he presses, nothing is going to happen. Oh. The machine will ignore that other remote mm -hmm. until it's all the way closed again. Okay. And then we've got Pyrac. Pyrac is also used in complex scenario where you use the safety beam. So let's say the complex doesn't have a, an auto close, but they don't want two vehicles to follow each other through. <coughs> You use the safety beam to close the gate. So basically what will happen is the car will drive through the gate and nothing will happen only once it hears the, the safety beam to automatically close quickly. Right. So also used in complexes and then you get a combination of condo pirate. Both of them, yeah. Both of them together. Again, if it's a single gate, uh, you'll use condo pirate. Okay. Okay, for your remote, you go into programming. 
You guys want to try and do a setup? Yeah. Right, so like I showed you. 